The Suns roster underwent a near full makeover since last season's trade deadline, when they pulled off a shocking blockbuster of their own for Kevin Durant. Phoenix then acquired star Bradley Beal and signed several players in free agency before moving on from a player who was once viewed as a franchise cornerstone in Aiden. DeAndre Ayton was shipped out along with 2023 second-round pick to Manny Kamara, in exchange for Yusuf Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Nasser Little and Kian Johnson. So what could Frank Vogel's starting lineup and rotation look like on the opening night against ex-son Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors at Chase Center? The Suns have multiple guards including Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Josh Okoji, Eric Gordon, Grayson Allen, Damian Lee, Jordan Goodwin, Kean Johnson, Saban Lee. Forwards, Kevin Durant, Nasser Little, Yuta Watanabe, Keita Bates-Diop, Bull Bull, Ish Wainwright, and centers Yusuf Nurkic, Drew Eubanks, Shemezi Mitiu, Udoka Azubike. With such a powerhouse, it's safe to say that Nurkic along with Durant, Booker and Beal are locks to start leaving one spot open with a ton of sensible options to fill it. The most intriguing choices are one returning player in Josh Okoji and three newcomers in Allen, Little and Eric Gordon. Okoji, who made 26 starts amid a strong first season in Phoenix, and Little are the more defensive options, while Gordon and Allen provide spacing and scoring. Given that the Suns already have three elite scorers in their starting five, Little and Okoji may have the upper hand. Let's say Okoji wins the starting spot in training camp and Phoenix opens the season with Booker, Beal, Okoji, Durant and Nurkic on the floor. Vogel then has Gordon, Allen, Little, Yuta Watanabe, Keita Bates-Diop and Drew Eubanks as his top players off the bench with Bull Bull as a wildcard. Is that team good enough to come out of the West and challenge for a championship?